Welcome back to Sky Sports News here on Deadline Day. Early this hour, we broke the news that Aston Villa finalised the signing of Morgan Rogers from Middlesbrough. Amber Sandu has the full details on this deal for us. Amber, over to you. Yep, good morning. Morgan Rogers is set to join Aston Villa on a five and a half year deal until 2029. It seems like the Middlesbrough midfielder has been a priority target for Villa after a lot of to and fro and rejected bids. They have set a deal for initial £8 million fee, which could be worth up to £16 million if all the add-ons are met. Now, what do we know about the 21-year-old? Well, he's no stranger to the Midlands. He started his career at West Bromwich Albion Youth Academy, made his professional debut in Manchester City, City in the summer of 2019 and has played for Blackpool, Bournemouth and Lincoln City on loan. So plenty of experience under his belt. And then he signed for championship side Middlesbrough last year, where he's been the leading goal scorer in the Carabao Cup, which I think makes him an excellent addition to a side like Aston Villa. He'll be competing on that front line with Leon Bailey and Moussa Diaby. But Rogers has the versatility and ability to play on both sides of the wing. He could be a great replacement for the likes of John Duran, who there was a lot of uncertainty about whether he was going to stay. He will remain at the club, will be out until April with an injury so I think he'll be an exciting prospect for Villa. Other names in the mix on today's deadline day Australian goalkeeper as well Joel Gauci currently playing at Adelaide United but is out in Qatar on Asia Cup duties. Reports that he's had his medical in Qatar and that they're in the paperwork stage of that deal hopefully sealing it by tonight. Hey, Amber big news this morning from Villa thank you. Okay so there we go we've got uh, Jody and Joby reflection on that he is officially now an Aston Villa player they've got a, a great deal for the forward or actually is it is it Middlesbrough that have got a good deal out of this one they'd have loved to have kept him but maybe if they were challenging in a different manner yeah this one came as a little bit of a surprise to me I've got to say um, I think Middlesbrough have done absolutely brilliantly out of the deal I think they paid in the region of a million to a million and a half he's only been there Six months, so I think from their point of view, it's probably an offer that once it got to the level that we're talking about, yeah. obviously eight million up front we're hearing and potentially up to 15, I think it's the type of deal that they certainly can't refuse. I think Michael Carrick will be a little bit frustrated. Um, he certainly has come into form the last month or so. Um, but I think for Aston Villa's point of view, it's probably one for the future. Um, and again, they're buying potential, I would say, rather than maybe someone who's actually had a, an outstanding start to this season. Yeah. Um for, for a player making that move, he, he went West Brom to Manchester City. Mm -hmm. and, and when you were co coaching at, at, at that level, were, were Manchester, because you won all, you won a quadruple, didn't you, I, I think. Were Manchester City your main rivals? Because they're producing a lot of really good, exciting young players now. Yeah, uh, the Manchester City Academy is excellent. Um, invested a lot of money in it, um, but was probably needed at the time. And now... Um, they're starting to see a lot of the, the fruits of their labour. Um, so what you want from your academy is not just only to produce players that can maybe play in your first team, because a lot of them won't. But what you do want to do is the ones that maybe don't make the first team, you want them to be able to go on and get a career or be successful. And we've seen plenty of instances of people having to leave maybe the clubs that, that they weren't maybe quite good enough at that time to get in the first team, go away, and then you see certain clubs trying to buy them back a few years later. So, um, testament to West Bromwich Alb Albion as well um, and Man City. But when you get opportunities to go to the Premier League, um, it's, it's hard to turn down. And I think Michael Carrick deserves a little bit of credit as well there, that he's got another bit of money through the door for a, a, another attacking player. I know we had, we had Akpon that went from Borough in the summer who performed at an extremely high level for Michael. So. Um, credit to Middlesbrough, and like Joby said, it could be a good deal for both, both clubs.